look at Ryan's Robotron before we look at this trash I'm about to mess with. Uh, he's got that side he needs to sand. He's being lazy. He doesn't want to do it anymore tonight, but he's going to. That side he already sanded. Ah! <laughs> anyway, so this, paper, not paper, uh, this is uh, burger time. Burger, burglar time. Burger time on the The ground. other side is way worse than this side, but I'm going to do both sides. But the problem with this one is and the bottom looks like hell. So we're going to and fix that. that and that piece. I mean, it is real, like, it's... It's about I mean, to fall apart. Yeah, it's about to fall apart. So, I laid it on its side really quick. We're gonna try to rebuild the bottom and get this thing looking beautiful for the Electric Starship Arcade. To be continued! So, I got this back portion off. Do you see how weak this wood is here? Look at that. And that, that's terrible. Anyway. Put a new bottom on this thing all right well it's late but burger time has a new bottom piece there and a new back door and uh, the bottom is new and it has feet not that you can tell very well see the feet on there it has a nice solid bottom uh it's got some screws in some weird places we're gonna be bondo in that this is what we pulled off of it i mean this was the back it was just rotted and obviously this stuff here is just, you can push it with your foot and break it. You know what I mean? Just breaks off. And so that's the bottom. <laughs> There's the old feet. So standing on its own, you know, that's something. So now we just got to get it running and working. Pretty cool. So a lot of them have been working on the burger time. And we'll start working on this control panel. It's pretty rough some new buttons and stuff for it it's uh see we've been bonding up and sanding this side uh, so we got a little work to do on the bottom there this side still got some of the artwork but we're gonna have to sand it down and fix some of this rough rough edging here this big old chunk missing so it should be pretty cool uh, when we're all finished, but uh, still a little rough, but it's getting there. So I've just disassembled the control panel. These are uh, uh, leaf switches and these um, little uh, button harnesses here. And this is the wiring harness. To put a little arrow on this so I'd know which way to put it back together. These are the buttons that came out of it. Now I got new buttons, but man, look at the age on these. They're they're very antique. I think it's supposed to be this color and they're this color. So quite a difference. Uh, so we'll be putting new ones on. The white buttons that originally came on Burger Time had these little specific uh, little peas for pepper. So when you hit the uh, characters with pepper, but they've been rubbed off probably, I don't know, 30 years ago. <laughs> So we'll have new buttons and uh, I'm just using this box to kind of keep everything in so I don't lose it. I'll clean up uh, the joystick. The joystick is, you know, you want to have the original joystick. Basically this whole piece comes off and uh, obviously we have this, I'm doing this left handed, which is not my dominant hand, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, all this, I'll just leave all this wiring harness and everything together. Uh, then I'll easily put it back in here. Oh yeah, there's a, a dust washer in here too. Looks like it was upside down. Funky. Let's clean that up. Uh, so now we're down to this. We gotta strip off this old CPO. Put on a new one. Some of it's gonna be easy to strip off, you know. Some of it's gonna suck. That's sticky still under there. Um, this is a thing I would, I don't know, I'm, it's according when you watch these videos, my tapper video, I talked about how I like to fill these little gaps in. So they put these little indented areas here, as you can see there, they're like embedded screws. So you can just slip those, slip those, uh, all those bolt holes right over those little embedded bolts or screws there. Um, and see how they're like divoted in that little divot 
what happens is if you don't, I like to fill that with Bondo. If you don't, you get this little, or, you know, kids and adults alike, they'll push in or over time, they're resting their hand there and it'll create a little, little crease in the, uh, in the CPO. And that's no fun. You can kind of read, you can really see it in the light there, but it's not that big a deal, but if it all pills out and you spent the time, I mean, you might as well just put a little Bondo there and make it smooth and then it won't crack up like that. And you won't get those little divots. But uh, let me give you an update here when I uh, get this uh, CPO off, see how it looks. That's what it looks like right now. Uh, you know, it's not terrible, but it ain't good. <laughs> okay, another look at this control panel. We got the top about done. I was fooled by the way this stuff was coming off. I thought this was black paint here. And when I started, I was like, oh, I'll just grind, no big deal. When I started doing that, it very quickly, I could see that it was like the mounting adhesive underneath the uh, laminated control panel overlay. You can actually see it here. It's, you can see my finger there. Super sticky. So what I'm having to do, see this stuff here. What I'm having to do, use the old heat gun here and uh, heat it up first and then peel it off using the old type of knife there. Anyway, I got most of it done um, working on it. See underneath here, I got this too. There's a significant amount of rust and stuff here too, but I'll grind most of that off with a grinding wheel to be nice and you know smooth here on the edges and then I'll, I'll paint it. Uh, I actually like to paint them white underneath. Uh, I feel like it makes the art pop. If you paint them black, sometimes it can like dull the art, even if the art's really thick. Um, so I actually like to paint them white, maybe paint the edges black if the tape shows through. Let's see where we get. Here we are on location with Autumn Woods today. Autumn, give us the report. How's burger time coming along? So we bonded and sanded this entire side. Okay. All really smooth and Some good looking wood under hiding way up under there. And a whole lot of bondo. Where are we going next with this thing? All right. Oh, look at Peter. You know, had it came over and it was just this side, if the other side had looked like this, I probably would have done touch up, but the other side was a destruction, total mess. So over here, got that chunk. We got this whole back chunk here. Some of this wood down here looks pretty messed up. So we're probably going to have to bust some of that away anyway, just because if we bondo over it, you know, it's going to be kind of lumpy, so we're going to have to bust through some of that. Uh, but yeah, you know, we got to make this burger look like a snack again. It's looking rough. Well, I finished wrapping it up. So we got the new CPO on. And I did, I got the, these pepper buttons are a little tough to find. I think there's like one person that makes them. I don't know how long they'll last in the arcade environment. I think they're gonna get knocked off. So these are normally this kind of orange hamburger bun looking color here, but I switched the outsides of them with white to look kind of more like a fried egg. That's just a little mod I always thought was cool looking uh, that I thought of, I, or maybe I saw somewhere. I have no idea, but I don't know anyone else that's doing that, but I like it. I think it's neat. And uh, yeah, it came out really, really good. I'm excited. And, uh, we got some Bondo and stuff on this other side today. Not that you can see it, but yeah, the burger time's coming along. But really cool. Man, just lining this up is so nerve wracking, but it uh, lines up really well, you know. Uh, we came, it came out very parallel, it, it worked out good. All right, we're here with Autumn again. It's tech day number who knows. And uh, it's burger time. And we're on the side that had the better artwork, but not quite good enough for the Starship floor. And uh, we've done a whole lot of bondoing. So we got a lot, of, a lot of sand and I started right here. But before I went to say bye to Peter Pepper before we uh, went any further. So goodbye, buddy. It's time to go. 
Autumn, any final words? sad because you know it's not stenciled but Jesus the pepper shaker man I don't want to be part of that life but uh you know it's going to be a very beautiful presentable cabinet when we're done so I'm excited Autumn how many degrees is it outside <laughs> it's too many degrees out here well we had this uh just about wrapped up and we got a little sand down here at the bottom of that chipped up on us. But other than that, we're gonna wood putty that little spot because we have bondoed the dog out of this thing. And if we bondo it anymore, I think it's just gonna get heavy. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, that's the Burger Time project. One more day in the books. This side's finished. We're about ready to paint, you know? So we're excited to uh, get this done. What do you think? I'm excited to paint it. Yeah. We've been bondoing for like yep. a month. I feel like we've been bondoing a month. <laughs> <laughs> and Autumn, what are we doing today? Today we taped over these characters so that we can paint this black and we'll still have the characters painted on here. There you go. I love it. I love it. Uh, we also did some uh, more priming. painting. Priming up the sides. Put a little white on the side even though we're going to put the decal because it's going to look nicer. And we primed up the back so we can go get some orange made. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, just kind of coming along. Uh, we just kind of taped off, masked off that bottom. So. The Burger Time saga continues. What are you doing over there? <laughs> Putting this sand stuff down here. She's just patching up the bottom. We're gonna paint the black today, but, and most of that bottom's gonna be hidden underneath, so she's put some plastic wood on there. I'm doing some coin door work here. Let's see if we can catch a little of this rust going away. We got a little brush here. Look at that, huh? just smooth it out the best you can with the thing if you want to go get the metal one coming along what Healing up with, like, wet sand in. oh well you can maybe get it a little wet like it's like maybe a little cup of water or something put it on there i don't know we'll figure it out well i think we got the right color it looks like burger time yellowish orange or orange yellow or whatever color you want to call that I'm not gonna do the sides. We did the sides in a white primer because we're gonna put artwork on them. Usually we would do, um, 
usually I would like to stencil, but man, this one's a pain in the butt to stencil because all the pepper at the bottom. I probably mentioned that before. A lot of these videos are so far apart, I just mentioned the same stuff over and over. Me and Autumn did finish painting the black out today, which looks great. We have the little artwork masked down there, so we're gonna have to pull that off and see how that turned out. But I'm excited. Um, I'm gonna do this back door back here and uh, the top and everything, which I have primed. Uh, so yeah. Let's see, I need the top and the back and everything, the orange color, and that's really all we bought that giant thing of paint for. So, let's see how it turns out. Well, that's kind of a fun orangey yellow color on the back of that. Time to see how our coin dory turned out. Let's see if we can get a little edge here. A little residue. Now, the logo is mostly there, so we're not I'm trying to. Not trying to take away anything. We just want the coin door looking good again. And I think it's going to. So, you know, probably the proper way is to take all these pieces off and sandblast the door and, you know, sandblast all these pieces and repaint everything that way. But you know, it's going in a public arcade and I feel in my adventures in public arcades that of all the public arcades we kind of put the most work into making them look as close to original again and considering that people are just going to spill drinks on it and tear it up and not really give it the time of the day as far as you know taking good care of it other than us here on staff I figure it's it's a lot of, uh, of extra stuff you know that you would do if you were doing a home uh, you know game for your house or to sell it and call it restored see right there that's gonna look fantastic on the floor you know what I mean so anyway Put your comments down below. <laughs> Tell me how wrong I am. Don't I? I care. I promise I care. <laughs> no, I do care about everyone's comments, but uh, but yeah, when you're rubbing in a public arcade, you just trying to make it look good again. And usually people walk in here and think, "Good lord, put a lot of work into this," and we do. So I'm painting the back. <laughs> All right, so. Got that new fantastic orangey color on. Orangey yellow. Pretty neat. Looks good. Uh oh. I'm gonna mess around and get a. I might have to put this one in fast view. So Facebook will block my music, or YouTube will. And here is Autumn. She is gonna peel off and see how satisfying this is gonna be. We're hoping it's satisfying. We're confined to a little storage room now with our games and projects in here. And uh, I don't know, right fun. It's gonna but, take longer than expected. Yeah, it's gonna be something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're confined in here because we've opened up our uh, Starship Theater. So we don't have that big awesome space to get into now. Ooh. I see his, I see his hat. I should say hat. It's not, I think I just said hat. 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 I think you did. No, oh, okay. the Texan is leaking out again. <laughs> oh well. He's that way sometimes. It's pretty cool. Let's, I'm gonna fold in this one here and see what happens. It's just there's a lot of little pieces of tape. Yeah, it took a lot of teeny tape to 
get this. All right, we're gonna come back. <laughs> this is gonna be hard to hold the phone the whole time and do this. All right, this is coming out pretty darn good. There's a couple little spots we'll have to touch up, but not so bad. Down to a hand and a leg there. But uh, overall, the front of this cabinet's looking really sharp. Oh, I forgot about our little tag up there. I can start working on it. This is actually a really cool tell of the time tag here. Yeah, I like that too. I'll have to get it. But yeah, look at that. That's solid. Really? Oh my God, the light came on too. Autumn's coming back. We're doing some of this cleaning in here because it's not so hot. We got an auction sticker on here. And we got some dusty old bastards here. So we're gonna clean these up, see how they come out. All right, so that cleaned up really good. Let's put it in. It's gonna look really sharp, I think. Pretty freaking cool. they give you a nice bleed you can hide this under the t-mold and i've made note of this before in some other videos i believe but what i like to do is on something's round like this and sometimes you're dealing with a you know a concave or a convex edge it's just depending on what you're doing with i like to take that let me do it one-handed and see how i can kind of pull and stretch that and then it lays over the top of that next edge and then when you put that T-molding on, it's gonna be sucked right up against it. I'll show you on the other side. So we already finished this side. See how it gives you a knot. You don't have that hanging edge underneath there that tucks it right underneath the T-molding. So just something fun, you know, and then you can just cut it right along the T-molding channel. So pretty neat. Okay, so Autumn has opened up the box with our new glass bezel. Burger time. Uh, man, it looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, just be careful and let's stick it in there and see what happens. I don't think you're going to have to turn yourself around. So. I am. <laughs> I don't know how to put this in. Um, I guess get it almost like level with it and just kind of slide up so you don't scratch the black paint as much as you can. There you go. That's, and then you probably don't want to drag it because it's got like screen printing on the back. So. There you go. You make me do the right <laughs> Well, I, you know, I'll help out. Give a little helping hand there. You did. It's got a little thing there so you don't smush your fingers. I think we're in. Oh snap! Now, I believe there's a black, like, tinted piece that goes here, but it was missing. So, if there was, yay. If there's not, yay. We'll figure it out later. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> Alright, you hold this. I'm gonna dig out our propane. Gotta do the final water. Yeah. This isn't your first project. No one's gonna know that because this is gonna come out first. The tapper is really your first project, so. Yeah. Wait on freaking tap handles ever. Oh, huh. Look at that. What? Yeah, that looks 
good. That is pretty sick. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna get a lot. So I may have mentioned this in another video, but I really, since, you know, eggs are chasing you, I did the little mod where I put the little white, I took two buttons, like a white button and a kind of mustardy colored button, and I made it look like little eggs. So that's kind of fun. Eggs. Little eggs. That is fun. That is fun. It's about having fun, right? Mm -hmm. No one's even going to notice that, but it's in the video now, so the great internets will know. Look at that thing. And it's a beauty. All right, kill it. Let's find an extension. A lot of attention to detail. A lot of touching it up with the with the faded, fading it in, <laughs> fading in the fade. Obligatory, you missed a spot. Yeah. Missed a spot. Did you get that right there that isn't painted? <laughs> I can't see from this angle. <laughs> it's time is finished look at this we did so good we don't have room to get around this thing but autumn here this young lady here has come through and you know did the touch-up paint on the front even the cool little thousand uh, dollar fine and year of imprisonment for using slugs that was painted on and uh, man this just came out so freaking nice monitors working good we got old Matt to thank for that. We got the artwork and the team molding. And, uh, you know, we even painted the back. Let's go around here with this fun Burger Time orange. And I mean, it just came out so freaking neat. All right, so last thing to do before we talk about liking and subscribing and all that is, Autumn, we gotta have you coin this thing up and play you a game of Burger Time. Look at that. I'm gonna kill the light just so we can see it better. Die already? Yeah, even get in the burger time. Come on, burglar time, let's see what happens. Uh oh, uh oh. I see an impending doom. Oh, she's gonna shake him and bun him. Got him! How much I can zoom in. Oh yeah, dude, I can really zoom in. Uh -oh. I wasn't on the right step. Game, look at that, she made a burger. Oh yeah, she can so many weenies. Oh no, you're trapped. Ah. Oh, I forgot about the pepper. You forgot the pepper. <laughs> Amazing, amazing, amazing. Fun, fun. That got caught up to me too fast. Oh, we finished it. Are you excited? Yes. Okay, that's awesome. Really <laughs> All right, get me. I'm gonna say the goodbyes here. Okay. All right. Well, Electric Starship fans, me, my sweet, wonderful daughter Autumn, we finished one up. Yay. We have a tapper that's just waiting to come out, but this is gonna come out first. Um, I don't know when we're going to put this on the floor, we'll have to decide that. We've done so many new upgrades that we may just hold off and introduce this maybe next month and we'll figure out some place to put it. But uh, until then, thank you for watching these videos. Uh, please like and subscribe to our channel and uh, help it grow and we'll keep doing this and uh, keep bringing these old dead machines back to life. See you later.